Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a small haul from Trader Joe's, but I wanted to share it with you guys. As you all know, I am on a mission to try and use up stuff in our freezer and pantry especially uh, because we've got a baby on the way so I'm trying to cut down on grocery hauls and use just what we have but I needed to go to Trader Joe's because I wanted some of their fresh produce like um, mushrooms and broccolini and stuff like that but the produce looked terrible. I went to a Trader Joe's that I don't normally go to. It's not my favorite Trader Joe's and it just looked really, really bad. Um, but I still wanted to show you what I picked up from there. So I'll, I'll start over here. I got some pub cheese. Um, I found a box of crackers that I have in my pantry and I love this pub cheese. Um, if I just want a quick snack, this is, this, this is what I love. So I got the shark cheddar. And then Howard and I both love cheese, just period. And these are individually wrapped pieces of the sharp cheddar cheese. This is white cheddar, it looked pretty good to me. Now, this is something that's new to me. Um, Howard really likes apples, I'm okay with apples. Um, but these are their crunchy, crisp apple cider flavored cookies um, with fall spices. And this looked like something that he would like. And of course, I'm gonna give it a try too. And as you know, pumpkin spice season is upon us and there were tons and tons of pumpkin flavored cookies and pasta sauces and all sorts of things. But Howard and I aren't big on pumpkin spice, so I didn't get anything pumpkin spice. But I'm telling you, if you like it, they have tons and tons of pumpkin spice stuff. And the next thing that I picked up, which I have not seen before, now maybe they've had it and I just didn't know, but um, this is Angus beef chili from Trader Joe's with pinto beans, and it looked pretty good to me. It is a, how many ounces? 18 ounces, right here. Like I said, it looked pretty good, so I decided to give it a try, and it was $4.99. And then I picked up these jerk style plantain chips. Um, I got these last time for Howard, he liked them a lot, and actually they weren't really bad. I'm not a big fan of the uh, plantain chips, but I do like these. So I picked him up a bag of these and they were $1.79. Also picked up some cashews for him as well. I'm not a big fan of cashews. Uh, these are 50% less salt, roasted and salted whole, cash whole cashews. So I picked those up for him too. And then like I said, I originally went in there for different types of greens. Um, this was the best that I could find. I mean, I looked at their salads, I looked at their broccoli, I looked at all of that, and it just didn't look good. So anyway, picked up some kale, um, and then also picked up two boxes of these chicken soup dumplings for Howard. He really likes these, especially when we go to a restaurant. Um, but of, key, of course, these are a substitute. Next thing that I picked up um, was this. The Trader Joe's flaky cheese and croissant squares. We really like these. I haven't bought them in a while and I actually forgot about them, but they are really good. They have um, ham and Swiss cheese and you just bake them up in the oven and they're a really quick either breakfast or a light dinner. When I serve them for dinner, I tend to have salad with them or something like that. Uh, but these were $4.99. And then I picked up two bags of fully cooked, fully cooked, flame broiled, let me show you guys, meatballs, Italian style. And I really like these Trader Joe meatballs because they don't have any fillers in them. And so these were $3.99 a bag and they, and they are both um, one pound bags. Um, an impulse buy that I picked up today was this, of course a non-food item. This is Super Lemon Room Spray. Um, let me try to focus for you guys. 1.69 ounces and it smells just like fresh lemon. Smells delicious, it's a room spray. The other thing that I picked up was this and I tried a sample um, of this at the store that had an open container, lemongrass, coconut body oil, and it's of course liquid and this smells really good and it quickly absorbs into your skin as well. 
So it has almond and jojoba oils, coconut oils, and then the lemongrass scent. So if you're into that kind of scent, you'll enjoy this too. So anyway, this is it. Just a really small haul from Trader Joe's, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, we'll hope you'll, we hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.